Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to That Creepy Reading. Today's episode, The Old English Village, written by Richard Lawrence, which is a rather good story about a quiet little village in the English countryside that I doubt many of you have heard of. With that being said, let's begin. If you're ever in England, there's a place that's not quite like any other in the world. Deep in the English courtside located southwest, there's a small village that time has forgotten. No human being has lived there in over 200 years, and it won't be on any map or any road sign, as there are no roads that lead to it. And even if you search for it and find it on Google Maps, it said that that area of the map is blurred out, like a big patch that just blurry, while the rest is fine. Time and indeed everyone has forgotten about this quiet little place, and if you wish to visit it, you will need to travel there by foot. The nearest road to it is 30 miles away and the walk is, well, rather long. Towards the end, you'll have to pass through a huge forest. The forest is dark, and most who enter it are never to be seen again, as it's rather hard to navigate the thick brush. However, if you do make it through the forest alive, I'll be waiting. When you come out of the forest, you'll be outside the village. It will literally be like stepping 200 years into the past, and there is no time for pictures, however. As of this point, you'll realize that any modern device you have, at least when you entered, is gone off your person. Don't worry, you'll be able to pick them back up later. But there's no time for haste. Make your way through the village and do not stop. As of this point, you are being watched, young one. And the first wrong move you make will lead to your death. Make your way to the wishing well in this town center. Once there, you will throw into it a one pent coin, followed by a two pent coin, then a ten pent coin, twenty pent, finally followed by a fifty pent coin. You will then put into it a sample of your own blood. By doing this, you are saying that you want blood money. When you return, you will gain a vast fortune, but there is still one more thing up for grabs. Do not leave the wishing well. Stand there for another five minutes. You've come this far, have you not? A large figure will suddenly emerge from the water in the wishing well. He'll rise up until he's at your level, and then he will offer his hand to you. His face decomposing, his eyes will be empty, with worms just scuttling their way through them. He is the last guy who came to the village, but he did not listen like he should have. He will offer you his hand. Fear will kick in and you will want to run, but do not run! His hand will have maggots and spiders crawling down it. His flesh will be nothing but bone and what appears to be a jerky-like substance. The stench will make you want to pass out, but you must take his hand. You will feel such a surge of power rush through your body, followed by a huge flash of light. A thunderstorm will erupt out of nowhere. And by this point, you will pass out. When you awaken, this could be five minutes later, this could be five years later. You will be lying in your sleeping space in your home. You will be unharmed in any way. Any virus, disease, or illness that you may have had will now be gone. You will be attractive and above all else. You will be immortal. As you get up from your bed, I will be there. I will hand you the deed to the village. If you ever return, you will notice that the village is now occupied again by townsfolk. Except, they're living in a time zone of 200-ish years ago. When you enter it, all time on the outside world will freeze until you leave again. Happy home hunting. Ha 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 ha!